Welcome to Brazil, the largest country in South America. Today we're visiting the state of Bahia, or the land of the drum. This is Marisa and her friend Kim. Together they're going to show us how technology is changing the way healthcare is delivered in Brazil and beyond. I'm a telemedicine engineer. That means I create systems and equipment that help doctors share information so they can take better care of their patients. Our National Health Guard project is a great example of how engineers like me are using data to fight diseases. How does it work? Well, the first time you go to the doctor, you get a card with a special patient ID number. Then, every time you need medical care, the card is updated with the new information, so your records are portable. One swipe, and doctors on our network can securely access important health information, like if you're allergic to peanuts or if you've already had the chicken pox. In engineering, when you put good data into a system, then add the knowledge to use that data in a logical way, the results are usually amazing. Since 1999, Brazil has added more than 13 million people to the health card program. The second phase of the project will push that number up to 100 million. Wireless devices are great. One doctor can beam an x-ray to another doctor at the click of a button. Wow! Telemedicine can do simple things like allow patients to check their test results online. Or it can do amazing things like using real-time video over the internet to allow doctors to remotely perform robotic surgery from halfway across the country. Surgery? On robots? No. Let me explain. Our doctors use the internet to see live video of their patients. Then, they remotely control robotic arms and other devices that perform the actual surgery. Hey, that's kind of like a video game. Yeah, it is. But technology that allows specialists like surgeons to share their skills with patients in rural areas is serious business. Here in Bahia, my company supports mobile service centers that use computer networks, databases, and satellite internet access to serve the state's 100 poorest communities. And these types of success stories are happening everywhere. In Uruguay, doctors use computers to share and diagnose about 600 high-resolution heart pictures every month. In Peru, a city hospital uses an EICU, Electronic Intensive Care Unit. Here, specialists use voice and video data transmitted over the internet to diagnose and treat tropical disease patients located in clinics in faraway villages. And in Mexico, networks are connecting hospitals and ambulances in new ways. Now, EMTs, emergency medical technicians, can send voice, video, and vital patient data back to emergency room doctors, who can deliver better care because they're more prepared when patients arrive. I think the thing I love most about my job is that I get to see how technology really helps people all over Brazil. Oi, tudo bem? Like last month, I helped connect doctors in Recife with specialists in Natal and Fortaleza. They examined live pictures of a sick baby's heart and then delivered a team diagnosis. Was the baby okay? Yep, and technology like this is making miracles happen every day. In hospitals, we're creating wireless networks that link laptops to tablet PCs to handheld devices, all to make the most up-to-the-second information available for doctors so that patients get the best possible care. Thanks for showing me all this. It's amazing how doctors are using lots of different technologies to share their skills and help patients all over the place. Marisa's story was pretty miraculous. If you think technology and medicine make a good career combination, you could be a robotic surgeon, 3D medicine designer, a nanotechnology pioneer, or a sports medicine engineer. Or maybe the perfect prescription for your career hasn't even been written yet. Click on the Tell Me More link for information.